Yeah, this is Saturday, February 6th. Might be a little bit of wind noise. Up here at Lake the Pines, about 45 degrees. Uh, windy, spitting rain off and on all day. It's kind of a overcast winter day. Still a lot of people over at the campground. I can zoom this thing. few boaters out. This is uh, what's called crappie season. A lot of people call them white bass. Uh, what do they call them? Crappie. Uh, it's a uh, pan fish, white meat, uh, neutral flavor, whole lot of meat, not a lot of bones. You can fillet them pretty good, real popular. And over here in the old Ford 99 model with 121,000 miles on it. Had to replace the batteries today. They were six years old on a three-year-old or three-year battery, uh, so a couple of money's worth. Oh, we did that. Started driving again. The diesel in the tank's about a year old. Need to get that diesel to run through it. Of course, my other truck's that big old Ram, and the Ford. You know, it's nice. You know, run through the diesel, put in some fresh. Might drive it for a month or two. Keep some miles off the Ram. I don't think it's got 50,000 on it. This is one I did all the work to and had a lot of work done. Uh, pretty solid old truck. No rust, of course. And during I buy, I used the camper a few times. That worked out okay. Not bad. A lot to be said for a hotel room, though. And just a uh, typical East Texas winter day. Uh, oh, next week, uh, last week, it was up to 74 degrees during the week. And I believe next Friday or Saturday, the morning low is supposed to be at or below 20. That's kind of typical around here. We don't have just severe long-term winters, but when it gets cold, by God, it gets cold. And that's coming. And uh, it'll be March here pretty soon. And we'll still get freezes now and again during March. That's why you always wait until uh, Easter before you plant your crop. Because after Easter, it's pretty much guaranteed you won't get any freezing weather. It's a real oddity if that does happen. We'll do the, just the house garden this year. And then... Uh, too busy work. I can't do the factory garden. Plus, I sold all my big stuff. And don't feel like buying it new. But we'll put in the tomatoes, you know, the radishes, greens, that kind of stuff. I always enjoy those. That's about it. Just a lazy Saturday. Went up and checked on the farm. It's still there. Everything's okay. They're all done logging next door to me there. Hell of a mess. I mean, just a hell of a mess. And on that 24 acre lot, I doubt they got four or $5,000. High end, it might've been 8,000. It was all pulp. There was no saw logs. And of course, OSB is way up there in price right now. So they might've got a premium, but for me, no clear cutting and leaving a mess on 24 acres for eight thousand dollars i wouldn't do it ever i've been approached many times to have my place logged and back again to me that ain't worth the damn mess that's just me a lot of folks think different need the money anyway that's all for this one already at over four minutes so i'm looking at a two-hour upload with my high-speed at&t internet which still upsets me <laughs>